Hello, today we're going to do a hot cross bun made of collage. I'll just show you the materials that I've gathered together. I've got a piece of paper which I'm going to put the hot cross bun on. I've chosen orange, but it could be any colour. I just thought orange was quite nice. I have here some wallpaper, some old note paper. I have some wrapping paper, packing paper. I have some other little bits of wallpaper and I have some tissue paper. I've got some PVA glue a glue spatula and some scissors and I'll show you how this is done. You can use all sorts of scraps that you'd have at home and um, just use them up in quite a creative kind of way. Now I quite like when making collage sometimes to actually um, tear the paper rather than to cut the paper and I'm going to do this first of all for the hot cross bun. So I'm basically going to tear a circle shape. So I'm going nice and wide like this. Okay, nearly a circle, just going to get rid of that little bit there. Really, when um, hot cross buns are made, if you ever make them yourselves, um, or if you get them from a shop and you tear them apart in the packet, they're never a perfect circle, so it's a good idea to have them looking a little bit random. Now, I'm going to stick it on like that because I want this bit to be the bit which was connected to another bun, and that's why I wanted to tear it, to have the white underside of the, um, of the wallpaper. So I'm just gluing this down now. don't need to use a lot of this glue because it's very strong. Just spread it evenly over the back. Trying not to um, get it on the paper which you're using as your base. So I'm just going to have a look and see how exactly I want to position that. I think I want it take a little bit off there. I want it like that. I'll just turn it around and show it to you. So I'm just pressing this down quite hard. Now because this is wallpaper it is quite um, absorbent of glue. So I'm just going to just pop another little bit under there like that. So you think about it, this was originally designed to be used with really heavy paste so it does require quite a lot of pushing to make it stick. So there's the, the basic bun. Now I'm going to add the other parts to it. Now, one of the things you will have noticed with hot cross buns is that they have fruit in them. So I found some paper here, which is slightly shiny and is pigmented lots of different browns. Um, I do have plain black paper, I could have used that. Um, but actually I wanted to use this up because I just had a little piece of this. So you have to have a look around at home, see what you've got. But a little piece of black card or black paper would be fine. Um, also maybe have a look in magazines um, because you could get colours from there. So for example, if you're just about to um, put your newspapers out for recycling, maybe there is a colourful page in there or maybe there was a magazine supplement and perhaps there are some suitable colours that could be cut up. So I'm just quickly cutting out a few of these, which I'm going to put on the bun. Now I'm just going to move them around and decide how I want them to be. Yeah, I think that's fine like that. And I think I might have some brown ones as well. Here. There's all sorts of different fruit in that in the hot cross bun. And of course they don't have to be perfect circles because if you think about it, the currants and the raisins um, are sort of partially hidden in the dough. So it's better that they're not any kind of perfect circle. So I'm just going to leave those where they are for a moment and plan out where I'm going to put the cross. Now this is where I'm going to use the tissue paper. Now if I put it on 
just flat like that as you can probably see you will see through it so what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to bake um, a hot cross bun frost by tearing off a great long piece like this I'm just going to fold it up and make it thicker and denser look here I'm just giving it a little twist like that I want it to be a long line on here of course if you make hot cross buns yourself you either cut a mark with a knife or you get a bit of short crust pastry and you make the crust with a short crust pastry. Hot crust buns take quite a while to make but it might be something that you, you know, can look up a recipe for and, and give them a go. Otherwise I do happen to have a few in my freezer at the moment because the shops start selling them so early that um, I've got some and I pop them in the freezer because I thought they would be quite nice if I couldn't get to the shops. So I'm just um, here preparing two pieces and I will show you how this works. So there we are, like that. I'm just going to put, put a little bit of glue on in the shape of a cross. Now, because it's on a bun and a bun will be rounded, I'm going like this. I'm going to put this on like this. And I'm just going to get the scissors. I'm going to trim that so it matches up to the top. I'm going to trim that so it matches up to the bottom. So that's the first one on. Just making sure it's pressed down into place. Now for the other one, I want the other one to be coming across this way part of the bun. So I'm just going to position my glue. This glue dries clear so if you um, you know if you put a little bit more on than is needed it will dry clear but it will dry with a bit of a shine so it's sort of up to you exactly how you want that to be. Right I'm going to have this one a little bit wider coming from this way. I'm pressing down quite firmly into the glue that I've already put down, like that, and I'm just going to cut that level with the edge, and cut that one again level with the edge, like that. Now that pretty much leaves me now to be putting my fruit onto my bun. So I'm just gluing these in. I could either leave that on the card or I could when it's completely dry cut around the bun and then I could do something interesting like maybe hang those up or something like that have hot cross buns hanging up around the house might be quite fun to do but would it just be a picture maybe to put some put up somewhere and celebrate the season so there's an easy to make hot cross bun from collage and if you have a look down here you will see my contact details and if you want to get in touch with me to either send me your pictures of your hot cross buns, which I will gladly put up on um, our site, or to ask about further sessions that I do, um, you are very welcome. I hope you've enjoyed this.